Yo, what's good, everybody, and welcome back to the Simple Logic Podcast, where I, your host, Watch TV, talks about different topics logically, but also in a comedic fashion. Now, before the actual episode starts, I just have a few announcements. If you guys don't already know, I post this podcast on YouTube as well, and I have a YouTube channel, and I am quickly approaching 900 subscribers. So if you guys could please do me a favor and go to my YouTube channel, watch TV, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, view all the other content. I have a lot more content coming um, this week and next week, so just be on the lookout for that. But I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could share, like, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. And also, I am constantly on Twitch these days. I, um, I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I play a different variety of uh, video games, from Smash Brothers to Dragon Ball Fighters, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Final Fantasy, Modern Warfare. I don't play 2K, so do not fucking ask me. You know, there are niggas, there are guys out here, there are guys out here that are literally going to buy the PlayStation 5 just to play the new 2K. What kind of shit is that? No. (laughs) I would like to think I'm extremely diverse. So if you guys ever want to see me stream or just pop in to say what's up or whatever, please do me a favor and follow me on Twitch at Watts underscore TV 94. If you like to uh, follow me on any of my social media, please do so. My Instagram is T underscore Watts 94. That is T underscore Watts 94. And my Twitter is Watts TV 94. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I just feel like I have not been plugging my stuff in like I'm supposed to. So I decided to do it at the beginning instead of the end, because if you don't know me, I forget easy. I forget a lot of shit. It's May. My birthday is this month. I forgot. I forgot. Somebody had to remind me and be like, oh, man, your birthday's coming up. I said, where it is? It's May. Damn. I genuinely forgot. But anyway, on to today's topic. Uh, today's topic is going to be entitled how not to talk to women. And yes, fellas, this is, this is directed directly towards you. Now, am I necessarily an expert at this topic? I would not say that. Do I know everything? No, of course not. No one knows everything, but I feel like I have something that a lot of people do not have. And I've already discussed this in the first episode. That's fucking common sense. It's a lot of common sense. So that is why we're going to be talking about this shit today. Now, what spurred on this idea of mine to talk about this uh, specific topic came from Twitter. It was a simple Twitter conversation that someone posted, right? That this guy posted. Okay, I'm going to give you guys just a, a brief summary. To make a long story short, this guy decides to DM this female. Um, they have a general conversation. They go back and forth. Oh, man, I think you're attractive. I think you're attractive also. Well, what do you like to do? I see that you do this. You have this on your profile, blah, 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 blah. And when the conversation kind of came to a halt, he did what any normal man would do and say, Hey, can I have your number? I would like to continue this conversation. He didn't say it like that, but you understand what the fuck I mean. And she's continued to say no because I have a boyfriend. <sighs> okay. His response was probably any normal guy's response, right? Very normal. Why the fuck? <laughs> Why are you talking to me? Why are you answering DMs if you have a relationship that doesn't make sense so why are you talking why did you let that whole thing drag drag on and you know what he had every right to be frustrated he had every right but let me tell you where he fucked up okay so i do not know what this guy's intentions were but for the sake of the argument right we are just going to say that he was just trying to smash he was just trying to smash right so he fucked up by giving her a negative reaction Because if he was just trying to smash, I guarantee that that window of opportunity was still there, my G. It was still there. Do you want to know how I know that? Because she was entertaining your conversation in the first place. Any woman that is happy in their relationship would not respond to a DM or continue any type of conversation with another man that isn't hers. So if you're just trying to smash... 
don't give a negative reaction. This is what you do. You say, oh, man, shit, I didn't mean any disrespect. I respect your relationship, yada, yada, yada. And I guarantee you, you will have her hooked, whether it's comments, tweets, or whatever. She will continue to talk to you. And at that point, she's hooked because I can tell you what she is doing. She's having troubles within her relationship or she's just the thought of source rex either one she is putting you as a red shirt now for those of you who are not familiar with uh sports when you red shirt somebody that means that they're out due to like maybe their a- academic situation um injury or whatever they are sitting the bench and they cannot play but you're still on the team you are just red shirted so essentially, that's what she's doing to you. She's redshirting you and setting you on the bench until her relationship ends and says, get your ass in the game, boy. It's time to fuck. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. If you stick around, it may be obvious to her that you have some some sort of ulterior motives. Bro, you damn skippy. You have ulterior motives. That shit doesn't matter. Everybody has ulterior motives. She does too. Everybody in this world, bro, our government has ulterior motives. For example, this COVID shit that's going on right now. Do you think they willingly gave us $1,200 because they were they were uh, shocked and concerned about our financial situations? Bro, fuck no. They don't care. They just wanted to make sure that we put something back into the economy to save it because it's failing because of poor leadership in the White House. This is another topic and I don't want to ramble, <laughs> but that is a great example. They have ulterior motives just like everybody does. So, yeah, man, don't worry about that shit. (laughs) So besides uh, situations like that, I feel that most guys in general do not know how to talk to females, whether it's like in a romantic way or it's just in a general way. And do you know why I think that? I think a lot of that is due to social media. Social media has crippled matter of fact not even just males not even just guys social media has crippled everyone's ability to just talk to another human being do you know why because everyone feels safe behind that little bitch ass phone they feel safe behind that glass knowing that this person cannot see me but i can say whatever i want to them so male or female i know that Somebody that's listening to this had this happen to them where they met somebody online on Instagram or Tinder or whatever, and they seem so dope through text messaging and they're saying all these exciting things of like how they are, what they like to do, blah, blah, blah. And then you get to know them and the idea of you laying in your bed by yourself in complete solitude and silence sounds more appealing. You meet this person and then you realize Oh my gosh, this dude or female is boring as shit. I would rather be in my bed right now. Guys, I can assure you that has happened to me at least two times when I was on Tinder. At least two times. And that shit is horrific. Because when you talk to this person through this phone, through this little glass, they're giving you all these expectations. But then when you finally meet them, they are boring as shit. But that is exactly my point. Social media has crippled all of our abilities to talk to each other. And this is an an issue for males because, you know, that stereotypical there's a stereotypical bullshit that says, you know, males have to court the females. They have to want to basically do the chasing and blah, blah, blah. I understand it is 2020, but I assure you that is still the common thing nowadays. Right. So in the year 2020. And during this time, what is the way that guys can get the attention of females? In what way can a male get the attention of a female? Through social media, duh, because they're constantly on it and it's the easiest because they don't have to see them face to face. But you know what? I kind of I kind of take back what I said, because a lot of you motherfuckers aren't even exciting through social media, through texting. A lot of you are not. I'm going to give you a good example. Do you guys <laughs> do you guys know? So I have a lot of female friends, right? 
and they have shown me when guys would de- would DM them, excuse me. Do you know that the way that these dudes DM females, they'll just start off with a, hey, hey, what the fuck is that supposed to do? Not a compliment, not a how are you, like none of that shit. Like, first of all, are you going to walk up to somebody and just be like, mm, hey, no. And that puts the female in this weird ass predicament because how are you supposed to respond to that? Just a simple, mm, hey, how are you supposed to respond to that? So if the female decides to respond nine times out of 10, she'll put hi or she'll say, hey, back. And then and then comes the question that I absolutely hate. I wish guys would stop asking females this shit because they have when they have nothing else to say when they have nothing else to say they ask this one specific question ladies i'm sure you already know what i'm about to say and that question is what you doing (sighs) yo do you know how fucking frustrating that is a matter of fact yo i feel for them I most definitely feel for them. I mean, don't get it twisted. Women, y'all most definitely have y'all faults too. But, yo, what are you doing? First of all, my my G, you didn't introduce yourself. You didn't even ask her her name. Look, I do not care if both of your names are in both of your bios or profiles or whatever. You always introduce yourself. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you feel. No matter what, you always fucking introduce yourself first. How the fuck are you supposed to... How do you expect for somebody to just carry on a casual-ass conversation and you didn't even ask her for her name? Don't be lazy. Ask her for her name and introduce yourself properly like a human being do you know why because that is the way that you would do it if you were talking to somebody in person so if you have to message or dm whatever a uh, a female on social media do not start off with just a hey and then ask what are you doing Ma- <laughs> matter of fact as i am recording this i just realized that you know when i was going around dating when i wasn't in a relationship um I would purposely stay away from that from that question. I don't care if I genuinely really wanted to know what the fuck she was doing. I would never ask that shit just because of the not the negative connotation that it that it gets. And I'm a mass communications uh a major. I have my degree in in mass com- excuse me, in mass communications. I will never ask a female what is she doing unless she asked me first. Matter of fact, that is my advice to you. This is just one piece of small advice from me to you. Never ask a female what she is doing unless the conversation really permits it. Like, never ask. Always try to keep the conversation moving. (laughs) Again, as I'm recording this uh, episode, I'm just thinking, I have talking points on my phone, but I just keep thinking about, like, more shit to talk about. Because this specific thing that I'm about to bring up, I know, ladies, I know this shit gets you heated, too. I, I I know. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. I did this once in my life and a situation happened where I know to never do it again because you look stupid. All right. So, fellas, if you ever see a woman that you that you know of, even if you just follow her. Right. If you see her out and you decide not to say anything and you know that she sees you or whatever, if you decide not to say anything and you hit her up on social media thinking, oh, this is my chance. I can say that I saw her at the mall or I can say that I saw her at the park or whatever. It's going to go horribly wrong because you do know what she's going to say or she may not even say it. If she doesn't say it, I promise you, I promise you that she is thinking it. I promise you, my G, that said female is going to say, oh, you saw me out, but you, why didn't you say anything? that's odd you didn't say anything but you decided to come dm me she may not say that exactly but she is going to think that she is going to say well why didn't you say anything and you know what i'm gonna be honest with you makes you look like a little bitch it makes you look like a little bitch because for a guy to walk up to a female that that you even may like remotely know it shows that you have balls of some sort 
a woman does not want a guy who is just so willing to hide behind some fucking glass behind a phone and say, <laughs> I saw you at the mall. <laughs> you look pretty hard eyes. Bruh, no, fuck that shit. Be a man. Do you have a vagina? No, be a man. Fuck. And guys, I told you. I promise you, I am not perfect. The only reason why I feel a way about this is because I did this once. And after one particular situation happened to me at VCU, I never, ever, ever, ever did it again. There is this one young lady that was um, in my classes every other day, right? But I never talked to her. Not even once. I never talked to her. But one day... I thought I got a little confidence and I decided to DM her, not realizing that I was hiding behind my phone so that I didn't have to talk to her in person. Do you know what she said to me when I DM'd her? She said, LOL, you're in my classes, but you're just now deciding to DM me. Why not talk to me in person? Question mark. I did not know what the fuck to say. And you know what? In hindsight, I have to give her her props for being so blunt and so bold with me because then she <laughs> first of all, I don't even remember what I said back. I, I really don't. I can't even tell you. But I remember all of her responses. She said that she actually took that offensively because she felt like that she wasn't approachable, which wasn't the case. I was just being a scared little bitch. And this is what she said. And this really, this really stuck with me for the rest of my dating life. She said, just a heads up. If you see a woman that you want to talk to every other day and you decide to hit her up over direct messaging, then you will lose points because you have every opportunity to talk to her. And honestly, it makes it makes you look like you don't have any balls. It makes you look like that you're scared to talk to me. And I don't want anybody that's scared to talk to me. And yo, that shit really opened my eyes. Oh yeah, she also said that it's even more weirder that you are a communications ma uh, major and you feel like that you're scared to talk to me. You are in the wrong major. She said that shit to me and put LOL at the end. And you know what? I couldn't be mad. I I couldn't even say anything. I waited for a day to actually respond to her. I couldn't say anything because I knew that she was right and she called me out on it. She was absolutely right. And to this day, I 1000% appreciate that because that has changed my outlook on dating as a whole before I got in a relationship. I went into conversations more confidently. I was more sure of myself. And as a result, I got results. <laughs> so, yeah, man, don't hide behind your phone, especially if you see her like a lot of the times. Do not do that. Please do not do that. That looks so bad. Learn from me. I told you guys I'm not perfect. I made mistakes, too. The only reason why I feel like I can speak on this is because I have experience in this. So, guys, my best advice to you is please, for the love of God, learn how to communicate. Learn how to communicate and actually be interesting online and offline, in person and on Instagram. Always have something to talk about. And if you don't, don't get involved because it's not it's probably not going to work out anyway. Uh, like, let me tell you. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I have a story to share. Yo, I'm full of stories, man. Let me tell you something. All right. So there is this one particular instance, right, where once again, I'm not going to say names because we protect the innocent on my podcast. But while I was at Virginia Commonwealth University, I was fortunate enough to meet a lot of people. And, you know, I made a, I made a lot of friends. I made a couple of friends. Right. So there is this one guy friend that I had. He was telling me about how this uh, conversation went with this particular female that he was trying to talk to, how it just went south. So I did not see the female's picture. I didn't even really pay attention to her um, her Twitter name because that's where he that's what he was talking to her on. So this nigga shows me his messages, their whole thread, right, of them just talking. 
this man was dry as hell and i told him he was dry and she was trying this poor soul she was trying to hold that conversation i said okay so if you want to talk to her then why are you sending one word messages why are you constantly asking what the fuck she's doing she already told you what she's doing she's doing the same shit that she was doing 15 minutes ago why are you doing this and it, it's okay i can talk about this on this podcast because he knows he already had this conversation with him but to make a long story short he was trash so funny thing about this is that two weeks later I actually start talking to the same female. I didn't even know it because I found her on Instagram and he was talking to her on Twitter. Like I told you, I didn't see any pictures of her like from her Twitter or anything. He just showed me that like message thread because she stopped talking to him at a certain point because he was just so damn dry. But turns out that we started talking to each other through um, through comments on a post and then we started DMing, DMing each other, and then I eventually got her number, and we hung out a few times, right? So he saw us together and was so confused, and she was so nervous. She was like, oh, hey, how you doing? And he was like, wait, 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 wait. You are out with him, but you just, like, you, you gonna ghost me? This nigga said that in front, in front of both of us. A normal person would just walk well, walk away and just talk to me about it later. But no, he said, well, all right, you here with Watts, but you ghosted me for, okay, for one, I took that offensively because what the fuck, I'm, I'm not ugly. I know I'm not the prettiest man on, on earth, but shit, I'm not ugly. So I took that offensively, but I didn't, I didn't say anything. I just let it go. Do you know what she proceeded to say? She said, well, I mean, we actually had a conversation. He asked me, great questions we talk about things he constantly doesn't ask me what i'm doing we talked about my family we talked about school we talked about our goals and ambitions and he doesn't just send one word text and he just shook his head he said okay and walked away and i okay just just for the record i talked to him later i said man if you're not cool with it then i won't go through with it and he said no nah, it's fine i was tripping all right bet Anyway, so that situation fizzled out between her and I. We were two totally different people, but that's neither here nor there. But you guys get the point. You get exactly what I'm trying to say. Communi guys, communication is everything. Come on, fellas. Like, y'all got to do better than that. And I'm saying y'all because none of this shit applies to me because I'm in a relationship. I'm happy and I'm fine. I already did that dating shit and I was in the position that you're in right now. So I'm telling you, I implore you, my nigga, just be more interesting. <laughs> like, Know how to talk to a female, please. And also, for the love of God, please stop asking a female to pull up to your crib after you just met her like through instagram for a week stop telling her to pull up bro i mean if she does pull up she is probably a thought of source rex like i said uh, before a thought of miss prime but if she doesn't that's okay because she doesn't fucking know you she probably doesn't even know your middle name stop asking females to pull up so soon like okay if you guys been talking to uh, like talking for a month or something cool whatever but a week two weeks even four weeks is too soon. You are asking way soon for a chick to just pull up. Come on, man. A lot of the time, she's going to say no. But if she says yes, then, I mean, cool. You get to smash or, or whatever. But a lot of the times, a lot of the females that I, I associate myself with, they obviously don't like that because they don't know you. You could be a fucking rapist or a serial killer. So relax. Wait talk to the person get to know them it is that simple this shit is not rocket science my nigga i promise you it's not but yo fellas seriously do you know how many how many messages that my female friends have shown me of you saying so you trying to pull up you ain't trying to pull up no they're not trying to pull up oh so when you gonna finally let me come over when you gonna let me come over dude no it, that is a turnoff for for the caliber of of women that I associate myself with, like my friends. That's a turnoff for them, man. <laughs> Just relax, let it flow, let things happen naturally. That's all you gotta do. So when you gonna pull up? Shut the fuck up. <laughs>
<laughs> all right so i think i harped on this subject enough i wanted to have a little more time usual for <laughs> for my question segment look if you guys want to submit a question to me please dm me on instagram at t underscore watts 94 that is t underscore watts 94 if you it can be anything it doesn't even have to be related to my current subject matter if you want a quest if you have a question to ask me and you want to ask just go ahead and dm me on my instagram at t underscore watts 94 this question today is a doozy it this is probably the wildest question <laughs> that i got but the best question that i got for content once again as i have uh, stated before we protect the innocent on this podcast so i will not release their names but this um this female has sent me the question my boyfriend has not in all caps been satisfying me for two years should i leave or try something new okay so to the person that asked this question i know <laughs> i know that you're listening to this podcast right now obviously because you want to hear my answer this is me telling you I don't know why you wanted me to talk about this on my podcast. I took you know what my podcast is about. You know, but you still wanted me to talk about this. I do not know why. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the free content. I really do, but I am still a little perplexed on why you are letting me do this, but I appreciate it so much because this is great. First thing I'm going to say is you guys need couples therapy fuck me fuck fuck asking watts tv fuck asking watts fuck that go to couples therapy first off because two years bro two years i i cannot i cannot imagine not being satisfied for two years two months maybe but two years that is fucking ridiculous all right so let's just let's just dive right into this right I am going to say that this is 1000% wholeheartedly your fault. What the fuck is wrong with you? You said that you have not been satisfied for two years. That means that has been two years of you not communicating with your man. This whole time that you guys are having sex, he's thinking that, you know, he he's piping like he, he's doing something. But in all actuality, he's not doing shit and you have to go in the bathroom and bring out the vibrator 9000x with seven times speed with uh with click control like jesus this entire episode has literally been about communication and this is something that you are lacking this is not even his fault this is not his fault at all this problem could have been easily rectified like so easily rectified if you could just say hey i don't like when you do this i like when you do this can you please be more aggressive be less aggressive communication is key in every relationship once again i'm not perfect but kid this is fucking common sense you let this go on for two years so this man is just thinking he busting the malls down he's been thinking this way for two whole years so i I had to ask this uh, this young lady a, a few more questions because she's asking she they've talked about marriage before they talked about marriage but you can't get married to somebody that I know sex isn't everything but you cannot get married to somebody that cannot sexually satisfy you and you shouldn't get married if you are afraid to communicate because obviously you are fuck his feelings like if that's if that's what it is you guys can make adjustments so with that being said i wasn't gonna say this at first but i feel like i have to you're kind of a dick you're kind of a dick because he has not been satisfying you and he doesn't know it but you thought about leaving him okay that's kind of fucked up how can he fix the problem if he doesn't even know that there is a problem oh my gosh yo communication is key and also what do you mean about try something new you said my boyfriend has not been satisfying me for two years should i leave or try something new what does try something new mean possibly i should have asked that i really want to know what you mean by that like do you mean like 
a different position like anal <laughs> like i i, I want to know and you know what actually yes you should try something new something new would be con- would consist of i don't know you fucking talking to him what is the problem what's the issue like are you afraid of him he doesn't beat you does he because that's the only thing that i can think of that would prevent you from telling him the truth this man has gone two whole years maybe even more i feel like you're lowballing me because you said you've been together for for four i feel like you're lowballing me here the way by the way that you were talking he's been possibly not satisfying you for maybe around three years and you just have failed to tell like you failed to tell him so that tells me that you might be faking it oh you suck oh you oh you suck you are awful (sighs) okay so i am going to try my best i am not a sex therapist but i'm going to try my best to come up with some sort of solution that may help you guys get results i don't know if i can but i'm damn sure i'm gonna try okay so first things first i i don't know (laughs) i don't know about your personal sex life but maybe if things have become like too routine change it up change up the position because if you're having sex and you are automatically thinking up well he's gonna turn me around up this is next (sighs) ah this is boring i know what's what he's gonna do after this he's gonna finish like when we start hitting doggy there we go that is an issue because he needs to like both of you you need to switch it up and you're not telling him so that could be one issue and also you want to know something crazy um small things affect sex like it i know obviously sex is very active so you two get sweaty so are you turning a fan on like are you drying up really quick these are things to think about (laughs) And that's really crazy because I never really thought about that fan, like the fan issue being an actual issue, but it is. So, I mean, I understand it's hot, but if you're using a fan, try to turn the fan off. See if you don't dry up or whatever. I know that's not the problem, but hey, it may help. I don't know. Also, like I said, switch it up. Buy some toys. Buy some toys. Yo, that's actually a great idea. So buy some toys. If he sees you, um, you know, orga- like having an orgasm while you're using a toy on yourself or even like during sex or whatever, he will know what that orgasm looks like. And that may motivate him to do the same to you without the toys. So maybe incorporate some some sort of toys and possibly be more adventurous. Now, I do not you know i don't advocate for breaking the law but hey fuck in a car do it in a car that is exciting because you don't want to get caught and you want to hurry up and it's very spontaneous so i don't know do it in 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 public not don't do it around kids like or a playground or something because you'll get slapped with a fucking uh pedophile charge but do it in your car behind the movie theater or the best buy or some shit because I can tell you spontaneity turns a lot of people on. If you do it in like this remote location where you don't even expect to have sex, it's exciting and it's different and it's new and it may get you off. You never know. So you could try that. And if all that good advice that I just gave you fails, and get a side nigga. That's what you should do. Get a side nigga. If none of that works, Get you a side nigga who gives you dick on three days, three days out of the week. Just so that, you know, the other days that you can save for, you know, for your man. But also you need to do some sort of um, some sort of like process and make it like a like a job, make it like a hiring process. You need to screen each dick that you get. Um, You don't because you don't want dirty dick. If you get dirty dick, you might bring it back to your partner and you don't want that. All you need is a dick that is reliable and that is functioning. And you also need one that will shut the fuck up. That's all you need. So you need to have some sort of uh, some some tryouts, some screenings also to get a new side nigga and some new dick. 
And honestly, if we're being real, hey, that might help you out, too, because while you're, you know, you getting some good dick from Leroy from from the Bronx over here. You could be thinking about Leroy's dick while you getting your main man's dick and you could be getting off like that. I've had to done that a couple of times myself where, you know, I wasn't necessarily happy with the situation that I was in, but I had to think about somebody else to, you know, make myself finish. So, hey, that may help you out as well. But while you are getting the side dick, I implore you to always wear a condom because that that man hasn't done anything wrong to you. Always wear a condom. Ah, just 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 be careful because you do not want to give him any undeserved STDs because you are a horrible person. Like I'm, I'm just saying either way, you are a horrible, a horrible person. If you go one, if you go through with this and two for not communicating, I'm just saying. So if you do this, just please have some decency and wear a condom. Save yourself and save your man. But you might want to think about your um, your side dick options. How how is your um your how's your Instagram DMs looking like? Ugh. You you might want to consider some options. I'm just saying it may not be the best answer, but hey. Okay, no, but on a serious note, I assure you that you are a horrible person. To any female who has done this and has not said anything to the guy, you suck. I don't care if the guy is super sensitive or what hurt his feelings. It's the best thing that you can do to him because shit, he might have something, you know, he might have something to work with, but he just need to know what to do and what not to do. But you not saying anything and you're thinking about leaving him. Look, I promise you, you are a shitty person and that sucks. That's not fair to him. You, you, you are so lucky that I am a nice podcast host and I don't say names around here, all right? That I don't put Instagram names out because some podcast hosts do that. And I would, I would. I don't know if you would have still submitted this question if you knew that I did that, but still, you are so lucky because you are a shitty person. I I can't believe this shit. You know what? I hope he leaves you. I 1000% hope he leaves you. This king deserves somebody who can communicate with him effectively and not hide things for, from him for two whole years. Do you understand how ridiculous that is? How can you hide not getting off for two whole years? Oh, wait. Also, I just I just thought of something like there is a lot of information that you did not give me. Like, did he did his body change? Like, Did he get fatter? Did he gain weight? Did he get skinnier? Like if that if those are issues then you need to talk to him about those as well i hope you're not that shallow but if you are then be honest with him be honest with him that's all you have to do communication is key if you do not have great communication in your relationship i promise you it will fail i know i've been joking around a lot but i I, that is a shitty thing to do that is a shitty thing to do not to tell somebody when they're doing wrong and you're giving you're kind of giving them shit but they don't even know it like in your mind you're thinking oh man this shit sucks like tell him get people can improve with anything literally anything so please tell him communicate that is the but besides all the shit that i literally just said at the end of the day the best the best advice that i can give you is communication I cannot say this enough. Communication is key. So please do us all a favor and just talk to your mans. I really can't believe you thought about leaving this man because you think his dick is trash because you haven't helped him out. This man could have been a saint and you could have been maybe girl number three out of the three that he slept with. Like he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's not that experienced. So teach him every you were taught unless you were just a fucking 15 year old throwing that ass in a circle on some penis already and if you were that experienced already then motherfucker you need jesus you need jesus but yes communication is key stop being a shitty person and tell his ass all right shit
if all else fails, just go to just go to couples therapy. That is honestly, if you love him, that is honestly your best bet. Go to couples therapy. Wow. I appreciate the question. Um, I'm sorry to chew a hole through you like that, but you said I could say whatever and be honest. And this is how I feel. I asked you if you were sure five times and you said yes. You gave me the green light. So I went for it. I'm sorry. This is just what I think. But thank you for thank you for the question. You were right. It was it was great content. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the podcast. (laughs) But with that being said, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So I usually do a, um, a story of the week. But with this whole Rona situation going on, I think I'm going to have to like put that off until more stuff happens and every more interesting stuff happens and everything starts to like settle down or whatnot. Wow. I'll say one thing though. Talking to yourself is extremely hard, but not to toot my own horn, but I've gotten extremely good at it. Like I've pretty much done this in almost one take, almost not perfect yet, but I'm getting there. That's how you know I have too much to fucking talk about and I talk too much. (laughs) But anyway, guys, uh, please follow me on all of my social medias. You heard them at the beginning of the episode, so I do not have to plug stuff. But I will reiterate, I am almost at 900 subs, guys. So I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, Watch TV. I would appreciate it. And also follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to become an affiliate please follow me i stream on mondays wednesdays and fridays and my twitch name is watts underscore tv 94 thank you guys so much for supporting all the content more content is coming to the youtube channel the first video coming back that's not the simple logic stuff is going to be about drake there is this topic going around asking if drake has if drake has evolved if he's evolved as an artist and i'm going to talk about it in a video and give you fair reasoning i'm not going to say what my position is on it but i i'm just i'm just going to tell you that i'm going to give you fair reasoning but with that being said guys i'll see y'all later thank you so much for listening you can find this podcast anywhere you can listen to a podcast all right with that being said i'm out peace